Welcome back guys. In this video, I will spend some time explaining why should you learn linear programming and why is it important for logistics operations. Linear programming is used by different types of organizations like manufacturing companies, service sector companies, government agencies, and even non-profit organizations. No matter what type of organization you work for, managers and decision makers are often in a situation where they need to make the best possible decisions. The problem is that we are living in a world where resources are scarce, our options are finite, this means that decisions we make are somehow limited or constrained by the available resources. I assume that you are someone who is interested in business, particularly in logistics operations. So let's first begin by reviewing what is logistics. Logistics refers to the movement of materials, information and cash between supply chain partners. Logistics professionals are working hard every day to make sure that the right products are made available to the right customers at the right time and place, in the right quantity and quality, and hopefully at the right cost. Therefore, the ultimate objective of logistics management is how to plan and control product flow to minimize costs, maximize profits, and at the same time, satisfying customer needs. Let's consider the following typical challenges that logistics people face every day. Imagine that you work as a logistics specialist at the air freight department of an airline. Assume that your aircraft has three compartments, each has different volumes and sizes, and you got four types of cargoes available for shipment on your next flight. Each cargo type has different weight and volume and therefore, the price that each customer pay is different. This means that the airline's profit for each cargo is not the same. And you are in charge of deciding what types of products should be accepted and how to distribute them among the three compartments. In addition, for some safety requirements, the ratio of the cargo weight loaded in each compartment to the compartment capacity must be equal among the compartments meaning that you cannot fully load one compartment and leave the others empty or partially loaded to maintain the balance. How can you maximize the airline's profits while at the same time meeting customers' expectations and safety requirements? Another typical challenge is when a company wants to minimize the cost of transporting a product from different factories to customers in different locations. The problem is that each factory has a limited production capacity and each customer has a different demand. Also, because factories and customers are in different locations, the transportation costs differ. How should the company distribute the product while not exceeding the factory's production capacity and at the same time meeting customer demand and more importantly, doing so at the lowest possible cost. These are just few simple examples of the typical decisions that logistics professionals make every day. And they need to apply a wide range of quantitative techniques such as linear programming to help them support their decision-making process. Linear programming models are frequently used in logistics management and the reason is that they are flexible enough to describe and model logistics problems efficiently. At the same time, they take the advantage of the linear algebra computations and the powerful speed of computer software, such as Excel Solver, which we will be using in this course. The result is an accurate and incredibly fast solution to complex problems. By applying linear programming models, Companies can achieve significant cost savings each year in their logistics operations. Okay, I hope you guys now understand why linear programming can be very important for logistics and business professionals. In the next lecture, we will learn how to formulate our first simple linear programming model.